there's nothing new But it's so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you So hold Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and into my home. So today we're going to be spring cleaning and sprucing up the outdoors. In last Sunday's video we did my courtyard and today I'm going to show you what we've been working on the last couple of weeks and we're going to start here in my front yard. Now we need to get in here and we need to clean out all these flower beds. So my husband and I are going to be tag teaming it and we're going to get these all cleaned out so that way we can add in some new mulch. Now this was very hard work, especially this bed here. We have learned that it's just best for us to spend a little time each week to keep up with these flower beds so that we aren't stuck every spring cleaning out the flower beds like we are today. As I told you on Sunday's video, I'm great at caring for kids and pets, but not so good with plants. However, I'm also good at setting up routines so this is going to be a new routine that I'm going to be adding into my rotation. Now I won't go as far as to say that it's going to be a zone in my zone cleaning. But like I said, we will be spending a few minutes once a week to keep up with the weeds and the grass that grow in these beds. Now if you're wondering why we just don't add the weed cloth down, well we did have it down and the last landscaper that came in and put in all this landscaping for us told us that because our soil is clay it would be better not to have that weed cloth down so that way the soil has a chance to dry out. So once he removed it we did see a difference in the growth in our plants and that they were no longer sitting in water. However now we have the issue with the weeds. My youngest daughter Madeline who does all the gardening in her backyard well she suggested that we smother the grass and the weeds with a layer of cardboard that will eventually decompose. So in this bed only, we layered cardboard, and on top of that, we put a thick layer of mulch. So we'll see how that works this year. So this flower bed alone took us a couple of hours to clear out. As we were doing it, we kept reminding each other that we were going to be so proud of ourselves once we get this done. We figured, since we're paying to have all new landscape put into the backyard around the pool, that we would save money by doing our front yard ourselves this year. Okay, so this is how the bed looks after we get it all cleared out. And now my husband is over there working around the crepe myrtle tree. Now we're going to head back into the backyard and at the end of the video, I'll show you how the front yard turned out. So do you remember a few videos back, I showed you a mock-up of what I've been working on that I want to do around the pool. Of course, what you're seeing is with grown plants and what I bring in won't be full grown. And I also make a change to the four small trellises that you see on that back wall. And instead, I bring in two large pergola type trellises that I end up putting there. And also, my daughter designed a couple of areas with flowers around the edge of the stairs. Now, I'll show you that here in just a second. So, Michael and I had to dig four deep holes in cement in posts that will fit into the legs of our trellises. Now, these were easy to put together, but holy moly, were they heavy to lift up and install. 
and it took us a couple of hours to get these four post holes dug out. Show me what it's like from the other side. Would you stay another night? Cause I don't know you, but I want to get to know you. Just want to get to know you. So this is the next day after we had a tree removed from the corner there and before we got the second trellis delivered so that we could install it. And then here's a couple of days later with all the plants sitting where we want them. And here's a before of what the pool on the other side looks like. Now the landscapers are going to come in here and they're going to remove all this grass and then they're going to plant some boxwoods for me and then everything will be surrounded in rock. Right here is where I set out all the boxwoods where I want to have them placed. Here the landscaper is working on that corner piece that my daughter designed. He's digging the hole for the crepe myrtle. These are the mock-up designs that Madeline came up with for the corners of the pool. The landscaper that we hired was so impressed with her ability to design and the knowledge of the plants that she had that he even asked for her business card, which of course she doesn't have. Yes. And right here is where the other crepe myrtle will go. I was really wanting to have white flowering crepe myrtles, and these are pink, but that's okay. Okay, so now we're going to get up on this patio, and we're going to get this all cleaned off. And this right here is what I'm working with right now. Now, yesterday, I had a pool full of grandkids, and Madeline and I sat here, and we built the trellises while they swam. And we also um, planted the hanging pots and the planters. Now, unfortunately, some of the pieces from the trellis were missing from the boxes, so we haven't been able to put the top pieces on. But once those get in, we'll have to complete the install. Everything out here is dusty and dirty, so I want to get all this pressure washed. I also need to get the net out and gather the toys from the bottom of the pool. I'm going to start by first moving all the furniture from underneath the patio so that way I can pull out my dock pull and I don't have to worry about tripping over the furniture. I also want to give this area rug a good cleaning with a pressure washer. I could dry out in the sun for you follow the deep dark ocean down for you i'd build the biggest kite and spend all of my time giggling daydreaming is my new middle name this is not a game for me imagine 
I'm adding this attachment to the dock of poles so that I can swipe down all the cobwebs before I pressure wash. Now if you remember in last week's video, I strongly suggested that you do this before you pressure wash. So that way you aren't plastering all that dirt and cobwebs into the corner of your eaves and overhangs. Now it's an easy step to do, but if you forget it, you're really going to regret it. Okay, so now I've got out the Ryobi pressure washer and I'm going to start by rinsing down all the walls and the windows. And then I'm going to come back in and I'm going to soap down the walls and while this is setting, I'll come back and rinse all the dirt and suds away. No, we just have to wait and see. So right away I'm noticing that the new textured cool coat that we had sprayed on this concrete, it's a little more difficult to pressure wash. Now for obvious reasons, the water doesn't move across it as easily as it does when it's smooth concrete. Okay, so now I'm adding some soap here on the rug. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to pressure wash the rest of it out. I did have quite a bit of soap that spilled out of the container right around the spot that I'm standing now. So you'll see a lot of suds in here in just a minute. 
so alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go Oh, this is everything With you right next to me so alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go This is everything with you right next to me So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go How many mountains to get some confidence how many debates to earn some tailwind? The years pass, I'm still the same. What will it take? Why the way up and down? I'm losing ground. In last week's video, I talked about being careful how close you get to this cloth when you're pressure washing it. Now, I've had this patio set for well over five years, and it's pressure washed at least twice a year. Now, the only reason that these cushions have held up that long is because when I pressure wash it, I do not get that nozzle too close to the cloth. I love 
about the things you did, you did for me, for me it seems that you're dropping clues. There's no need to rush, so let's just take our time. Dropping everything, cause you're stuck on my mind. Have you noticed yet that a stack of those chairs have fallen off the edge of the patio? Okay, so this is the last area that I have to pressure wash. I'm going to let all this dry overnight, and then I'll come back out here tomorrow to finish up. Now, I'm not going to clean the windows on camera, but I am going to pressure wash the dirt away. If you look over there at the trellises, you can see that the top beam and the corbels are missing. As soon as those come in the mail, my husband and I will be installing those. So imagine each of those trellises having back-to-back -back boards with corbels on the end. Once that star of jasmine settles in and it begins to grow, that area is going to be so gorgeous. Now, let's just pray that the HOA doesn't say anything about the trellises. Because we have a five-foot easement away from those fences. That's the reason why there's such a large gap between the pool and the fences. Now, I'm hoping that because I got the trellises in the same color as the fence, that maybe they may not say anything. Fingers crossed. Okay, before I head in for the night, I'm going to quickly fish out some of these toys that the grandkids threw in the pool. This is becoming a daily task around here lately. Even if they don't swim, they still like to float their toys in the pool. Okay, so now it's the next day and I'm going to go ahead and set everything back up. Now, I do have some new blue ceramic pots that I'm going to be filling with flowers and I'm going to place those on the tall corners of the pool. And I'll show you that here in a minute. So, because this area is so large and because it's an extension of our living areas to our home, I have added it into my zone cleaning along with the courtyard. So just like I have my seven tasks that I do indoors, I'll do something similar out here. I'll be sharing that with you in some upcoming zone cleaning videos. My sweet little grandson Chase put this flower in this face and said that it reminds him of the flower on Beauty and the Beast. He's a very imaginative little guy. We wake, hear the birds. 
kids and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right the future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no more oh, Even in the hard times You and I can weather any storm Before I sleep I can't tell you how thrilled I am that everything turned out. I am so glad that I took the time to put together that storyboard of the mock-up of what I wanted out here. When I had this pool built, I didn't want it to feel like it was a pool that had been dropped into the backyard. Instead, I wanted it to feel like it was an extension of our home. When we open up our large sliders, you can walk from the living room all the way out here and never feel like you've left the house. All right, so now we're back in the front yard. And before I show you everything that my husband and I have gotten done out here, I wanna go ahead and complete the look by filling this stone container with petunias. I love the color of these flowers this year. And I'm so excited to see everything in bloom together in the next couple of weeks. When I'm at the garden center and I run across beautiful large stone or ceramic containers, I'm always shocked by the sticker price. Now I had to come to terms that there are some things that are worth putting money into and for me it's a couple of these statement pieces like this pot and the large blue ceramic one by the pool. With proper care these pots are going to last for years. I met an old man I said tell me your story Got an open and wrote something for me. Then he kept walking on down the road, and I watched him disappear like smoke. And I thought I'd just see. Madeline just got here with the girls. On a whim, Lyndon decided that she wanted to come to her Grammy's house to take a bath in her big tub. Last year, my petunias grew up and over the sides of the pot. They were so gorgeous. 
Okay, so let's look at the before of this front garden area, and then I'm going to show you the after. Okay, so we removed all the old mulch and we pulled out the grass and the weeds, and then we laid down the dark brown mulch that we love so much. And our crepe myrtle tree over here, it's beginning to wake up and grow its leaves. Crepe myrtles are by far my favorite trees, especially these multi-stemmed crepe myrtles. So over here is the flower bed that I showed us digging in. After all that hard work, look how nice it all looks. Now it's been about two weeks since we've done this, as you can tell by the color of the grass. So there's a lot of leaves that have blown in, but that's to be expected. My husband and I come out here regularly and we pull out all the grass and the weeds. Now, if you're looking for good solar outdoor spotlights, trust me, this is the one for you. It's the Better Homes and Gardens Solar Light from Walmart. They are metal, not plastic. So if you go looking for them, be sure you look for the metal ones. The ones here in my front yard I've had for over two years and they work great. Now I'm gonna take you to the backyard so you can see how much light that they put out. I purchased more to go around the pool and I especially wanted them to light up the trellis area at night. As we hold each other tight. Okay, so this completes the look of our outdoor spaces. Starting here in the courtyard, we have spruced up another living area of our home. My mother-in-law has a beautiful area that she can come out and sit here in the morning and drink her coffee. I hope that you've liked this video and that it's given you inspiration and motivation to spruce up your outdoor areas for spring. If you did like it, would you please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you get reminded every time I post a new video. I'm going to leave you with a fun video of last year's courtyard and backyard before we had the pool. It's a get it all done type of cleaning video and I think that you'll enjoy it. I'll also be posting this Sunday's video on Monday because I know we're all going to be busy with our families for Easter. I'll see you again on Monday. I hope that you have a beautiful Easter weekend. Stay blessed, my friends.